coming straight up out the struggle, watch the killer state. It's California, homie, where they know them where you ain't. Red or blue, rag, keep the pistol in the waist. North or south, put the blood, shit, they know the spray. And all the Asian homies, even on the back the cane. And all the bison yellow yellows, know them in the way. And chicken scanners, how these bodies dropping every day. And all for pilot money, homie, I know what a shame. But this is just the way it is, so I still with the gauge. In case they want it, they can get it, we don't hesitate. I know it's strange, I'm the simple fact you can't relate. It's killer from your homie where they know to regulate. I keep it by the G code until my dying day. Cause that's just life up in the hood. I'm the king of state. It's killer from your homie where they know to regulate. What's good, G Life? Now, as we continue the countdown of our boy neighborhoods, uh, now we shall be sliding on through to the section that is known as Nella. Nella translating to North East Los Angeles. Nella being home to dozens of neighborhoods, you know, from the avenues, Highland Park, the Tunerville, the Frog Towns, uh, you know, everybody and their mother right here. Um, this is home to one of the boys neighborhoods and to be more specific we will be maneuvering our way to the area that is known as Cypress Park Cypress Park is home to one of these boys neighborhood which is known as the Vario CP or CXP or CPBS or CPB <laughs> which is known as the Cypress Park Boys Vario Cypress Park Boys is a neighborhood that has been well established right here since the 70s now at least from what I was told is that this neighborhood uh, once uh, was a clique from the Avenues Gang obviously the Avenues Gang be the more dominant uh, presence right there well known neighborhood you know what I mean with members almost in the thousands and stuff like that so this used to be a clique off of that barrio but that broke off you know obviously because they had you know different views on the neighborhood and how they wanted to do things and stuff like that so they broke off to do their own thing and so since then, both neighborhoods have had a bit of rivalry, you know, all kinds of chaos, you know, they just don't like each other, there's beef, heavy beef. And even though the Cypress Park, when it started, it was just a clique, so obviously it wasn't as large, they maintained and held their ground, you know what I mean? Because from what I was told is that there were roughly about, like, um, um, 40 to uh, forty to almost 60 members, uh, roughly around there, uh, you know, when they broke out to do their thing. Uh, but since then, you know, have grown in numbers, you know, at least from what Homie said, is about a few uh, hundred and something members, uh, from what Homie had said. Um, but not still not as large as the Avenues Gang, but nonetheless, have held it down right here for theirs in the area of Cypress Park you know because that is their domain throughout all of Cypress Park because their territory extends from San Fernando Road all the way to uh, Mekon, Mekon all the way to Isabella, Isabella their territory still extends all the way to Figueroa and back around everything that's in the middle is considered their vital so throughout Cypress Avenue obviously that stretches throughout their hood you know like Cypress and 28th, uh, 27th um, right there on Pepper and San Fernando Road as well where the park's at uh, Cypress Park you know all of that all of that is their domain you know what i mean and back around um it's a massive amount of territory uh and they still continue to hold it down and like i said this area is chaotic because of so many neighbors but still the cypress park boys ain't no chumps and have continued to still represent right here for theirs and putting theirs on the map now as we maneuver and keep making our way more into los angeles we will now be heading towards the boyle heights portion of los angeles which is known as the east side of los angeles not to be confused with east l.a two different areas boyle heights is an area right here in the east side of los angeles uh, which is different from east l.a now the, in this area, it's very chaotic, bro. You have so many neighborhoods right here. That's why I put this picture right here uh, for that way people can see, you know, what I'm talking about, how many different neighborhoods we have established here from the Cam, Evergreen, MC Forest, Primera, Cuatro, The Mob Crew, uh, State Street, uh, Hazard, everybody and their mothers right here. Breed, um, you know, everybody, everybody. This is home to one of these boys' neighborhood. In the midst of the action, the no breathing zone, um, right here, it definitely be going down. It's chaotic, you know what I mean? Um, it ain't no joke. And this is home to one of these boy neighborhoods, which is known as the Barrio TBS. TBS translating to Barrio Tiny Boys or Tiny Boys Sureños, um, you know, but more often than not, Tiny Boys. You can see it up as uh, TBS or TB, um, you know, either one is, is right in how they write it. And um, their Barrio is... And their barrio is everything that's from Cesar Chavez. And from Cesar Chavez, I would have to say that their neighborhood still extends towards uh, the, the where the freeway's at. 
um, on on uh, Cumming Street, um, and from that all the way to First Street, from First Street all the way to Soto Street, and back around. And everything in the middle is what's considered their neighborhood. You know what I mean? Throughout uh, Michigan Avenue, what's, uh, you know, Michigan, St. Louis, uh, Cumming, uh, Pennsylvania, um, all of that. But the heart of their hood, their main domain, their dojo is on Chicago Street. That's why you see Chicago up when they write it. Chicago Street meaning the street right here. Uh, that is the danger zone. That is where they get it on and cracking. Where they've been established and handling their thing since the uh, uh, later 80s uh, when they were established. Um, and this is not a, one of these like really big neighborhoods, but a neighborhood that puts it down on the list. You know what I mean? I've been hit up several times by this neighborhood. Um, I have seen it for myself. These individuals do their thing. You know what I'm, you know what I mean? Um, they ain't no joke. They're roughly um, 50 to 60 uh, members to them. Just here, though, because they are just not located here because you could find this neighborhood outside of California as well. You know what I mean? In, in uh, Washington and several other locations. I heard even in Texas, but they're located in several other parts. So just not just here in California. Here in California, they're roughly about 60 members, but outside and overall together, it's a few hundred members uh, because they do have, you know, this barrio in other in other states. Um, you know what I mean? But at least here, this is their birthplace and, you know, where they've been handling right there, you know, going at it because they do have a lot of enemies. You know, it seems like they go at it with everybody right there. Uh, like I said, it just it definitely be chaotic but nonetheless the east side tiny boys gang have been right here handling their scandal and been holding it down you know what i mean with several clicks from the chicago's uh, um you know from from that to the peewees who all kinds of click guys you know what i mean the gangsters and all all kinds of clicks uh and nonetheless they still be right here holding it down and maintaining for theirs and, and continue to put theirs on the map now, as we maneuver our way more into the east, uh, now heading towards the area that is known as East Los Angeles, East LA. Um, East LA, home to, you know, dozens of neighborhoods, uh, still jam-packed, cluttered, uh, no breathing room. Um, this is home to the Maravilla gangs. And one of them being a boys' neighborhood, which is known as the Barrio Gage Boys. Gage Maravilla, Gage Boys Maravilla. Uh, yes, they are known as the Gage Boys, you know what I mean? The GB, you know, GBS or GB, either way, uh, even GMV, you know, for Gage Maravilla, but they are boys. Um, and they're um, not as old as some of these other clicas of Maravilla, like they're not as old as like the Hoyos and Fords and, and, and Marianas and, and clicas like that. You know, they're roughly more one of the newer ones, but nonetheless, homie, they are active, they handle their scandal. You see them up, you see all kinds of activity by these individuals, you know what I mean? Um, you know, they have the more younger, fresher blood, you know, running around and stuff. Um, they gravitate, you know, to that clica. Now, the Gage Boys is their territory, is everything that's from uh, Indiana. Um, and from Indiana, I would have to say their territory st uh, stretches to uh, uh, Blanchard Street, uh, Blanchard Street, all the way to Gage Avenue and Gage Avenue to Cerza Chavez. So everything that's in the middle of that is what's considered their barrio. So that's throughout uh, Rowan, you know, that goes through their barrio, throughout Higgs, Alma, uh, Dittman, uh, Folsom, um winter street uh, all of that all of that is what's you know eastern all of that um is um what's considered their barrio uh, which is a pretty you know pretty decent sized portion you know of, of turf um and at least from what i was told is that the gauge boys maravilla um homie said for sure that they're more than uh 60 members he said um you know they're like i said they they blew up in numbers you know pretty well you know what i mean uh like i said you see the activity and they um like i said all maravilla gangs are, are their own different gangs there's you know they're all maravillas but they're all their own se separate gang but they do have a good connection with the maravilla rifa you know what i mean which is the neighborhood that stays uh, next to, to theirs because like i said it's chaotic right there because even though east la is home to all uh, the maravilla gangs um there's still other gangs within the area you know that they go at it with like like the higgs the little east side the cams the centennial boys you still have all kinds of barrios you you know what I mean? Uh, within the area. So like I said, it definitely be on and popping. But the Gage Boys, you know, definitely been right there representing and it's still continue to hold it down for theirs. Now, as we now maneuver our way to the area that is known as West Los Angeles, 
you already know West Los Angeles definitely be cracking. Another area that's gang infested, jam packed, no breathing room. It definitely be getting chaotic right here. And this is home to several boy neighborhoods, so we're gonna be spending you know some time right here. Um, now for this neighborhood, we actually ha have to head towards um. The Wilton uh, Place uh, area of, you know, West Los Angeles to uh, find the next boy neighborhood, which is known as the Barrio West Side ABS. ABS translating to West Side Alley Boys Gang. Alley Boys Gang is a neighborhood that has been established here since the 80s that it was established. Um, now, this neighborhood um, is everything that's from Wilton Place. Uh, so Wilton and all the way to uh, Wilshire Boulevard, Wilshire Boulevard, all the way to Western, Western, their territory still extends um, all the way to Olympic Boulevard. Everything in the middle is considered their, their barrio. So throughout uh, Manhattan, throughout St. Andrews, throughout uh, 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 Grand Mercy Drive, uh, throughout um, um, San Marino Street, all of that, you know, 9th Street, 7th Street, uh but the heart of their hood, their main domain, their dojo is throughout 8th Street. You know what I mean? 8th Street is where they go on, you know, handle their business, you know, right there throughout those alleys where they've been known to handle their business. Now, this neighborhood is also well known because of a Chicano rapper, uh, Mr. Silent, who used to belong to High Power. Uh, you know, well-known Chicano rapper. Uh, you could check out his music right here on YouTube. He has talent. He has skills. Uh, this is the vibe in which he's from. Now, I'll cover the alley boys. Uh, there's... This Alley Boys gang is different from the one from Orange County. I'll cover the one from Orange County when I get to it. But they're, they're two different gangs, though. They're not the same gang. People get them confused. Uh, the other ones, you know, uh, AB or ABR, this is ABS. Uh, so they're different. And right here, at least from what I was told, that the Alley Boys right here was like about 70 members, 80, uh, 70 to 80 members uh, to this barrio. So they did have a, you know, a decent amount of, of heads, you know what I mean? And, and several clicas, uh, tiny winos and tokers and all kinds of stuff. You know what I mean? And like I said, they do have rappers that put it down for this barrio. And this is a real neighborhood, like I said. Been right here in the west of Los Angeles, holding it down for theirs and the Alley Boys gang and, and still continue to represent. Now, as we maintain right here in the west, uh, you know, to cover the next neighborhood, uh, for this one, uh, we actually have to maneuver our way towards uh, almost the Hollywood portion of, you know, Los Angeles to find this next barrio, which is known as the Barrio... ABZ, ABZ translating to Barrio Alki Boys, Alcoholic Boys, or Alki Boys. Now, this barrio is, you know, not a large barrio, and it often gets confused with the Asian boys because they write it ABZ, like the Asian boys. But this is a different thing. That's why when people used to be seeing the ABZ 13, they thought, like, what? The Asian boys became homies? Like, it's not that. It's, this is a whole different barrio than that barrio. They just have the same abbreviations. Like I said, this is a, a barrio that started right here in the uh, early 90s in the west side. A small neighborhood, roughly about 40 members to them. Um, you know what I mean? But still handled their business. They did have some Asians in their neighborhood as well, but it was a Hispanic gang. Um, and their neighborhood started right there in Los Angeles High School and um, in um, Hollywood uh, High School uh, is where they, you know, were, were established. But right there uh, on Yucca Street is where they hanged out, their main domain, their dojo, because, you know, you have a clique. Uh, that's their clique, you know, the, the Yucca uh, Street Dukes. Uh, they also have the Pee Wees, you know, so they have several cliques to their barrio. Um, and they're different, not, nothing related to the Alley Boys, whatever, you know, there's the, um, Alki Boys. And yes, it is a real barrio. They are a real barrio that, that was well established and, and represented right here for theirs and still have some members, you know, that put it down for their barrio and, and hold it down for their zone and putting theirs on the map for the Alki Boys, you feel me? Now, another barrio that we have right here in the west of Los Angeles is the barrio OBS. OBS is a neighborhood that has been right here since the uh, early 90s. Uh, at least from what I was told, this is, it started off as a crew um, that transitioned into a neighborhood. You know what I mean? Uh, roughly around the early 2000s. Um, and it stands for um, Osiris Boys, named after Osiris Avenue. You know what I mean? Um, and although I know people were saying that oh, it's an Asian neighborhood, it's a Hispanic neighborhood, you know, and vice versa, you know, people... We're getting them confused because they do have Asians in their neighborhood. You know what I mean? Um, it's like, you know, it's a common thing over here. Like in the West Side, you have a lot of neighborhoods that that, that, that is like that. You know, you have the uh, um, 
um, Alki boys, you have temples, uh, you have several neighborhoods that just have Koreans in their varas, you know what I mean? And this one be no different. Um, and, but this was always a small neighborhood. Keep that in mind, it's not as old school as some of these other barrios and, you know, the territory is awfully small because, you know, due to uh, gentrification and stuff like that. But nonetheless, it's a real barrio that has held it down right here. Uh, I, at least from what I was told is that there were roughly always about 30 to 40 members to them. So a little bit more of the smaller side, but nonetheless have writers that hold it down for theirs. You know, these guys ain't no suckers, ain't no chumps and continue to still represent for theirs and, and their neighborhood because, you know, um, at least from what I was told is, is you know, they still active, they still doing their thing, you know, they still maintaining right here and holding it down for the OBS and, and still putting it down.